Hello, Darth Vegan here, back with another episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 5. I forgot what season, I was going to say Season 2. What was I thinking? I don't know. Ah, who knows what I'm thinking? I don't even know what I'm thinking most of the time. So that's, that's a problem. So what are we going to be doing this episode? Well, I think that we're going to try and send a Kerbal up 18,000 meters feet what is this I think I think we can do it easily in fact we could probably do it with our same design of the Archimedes if we went with a manned Archimedes instead of this guy put one of those guys on there I don't think we need this thing here Bink. Bink. That would get us almost certainly to the the mark that we need. This is what I like to call good enough. All right, so now we're gonna need some science and things on here. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop these batteries over there. Yep, we'll put this antenna on the underbelly of this beast, like so. These look terrible, but I'm gonna have to leave them as is because, eh, whatever, I'll change them. Do I even need these? I don't think I even need them, do I? We might need them. Nah, he's just going up. He's just gonna go up and go straight down. We don't need those. Let's take the cost off and uh, save ourselves a little bit of trouble there. So let's put a press mat up here and a thermometer up here. As well right outside the cockpit and now we're gonna need some aerodynamics put a nice cone on the front and have we unlocked oh we have not unlocked the old parachutes yet well that could be a problem so we're gonna rename this from the Archimedes to the what yep okay what Come here, boy. Let's go to the Research and Development Center. We've got 147 science. Let's see what we can unlock to assist in this next level of flight. We've got some gadgets. Mystery goo inline. Ooh, I like that. Big solar panels, mystery goo containment, and a better antenna. Is that omnidirectional? Um, yeah, omni. Good. Okay. And then survivability, we've got some landing gear, some parachutes, uh, we need that for sure. I'm going to go ahead and research that one. Bink. Stability, we get some uh, RCS ports, a command seat, oh, and a Probodon QBE. We can make uh, ourselves a rover straight away with this thing, I bet. Yeah, heck yeah. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll count as a rover if we make it with those parts, like automatically. I, I don't know, I, I couldn't get it to work. Like I changed it to rover, but it wouldn't it wouldn't count as a rover, so. Ooh, already have a nice little uh bearing here. So that that would be good. And some inline couplers. Yes, yes, yes. Lots of good parts in this this little guy here. Oh heck yeah. Nice. Lots of good parts. I could get to orbit with this thing. Um and some better engines. Okay, let's see if we can get ourselves to orbit. Should I send a rocket to orbit first, though? <laughs> An unmanned rocket? I mean, that's the whole point of this, is doing unmanned first. All right, so we're, let's get that there, and we'll go ahead and get these structural parts. Might come in handy. It's only one point. Yep. And... We'll get this for the rover, boop. And then we'll get this for some extra science, boop. All right. Do I need this flying stuff? I need that fairing, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it. Some additional wings, I'll take them, even though I don't really care about them. And general rocketry. Should I go ahead and get the bigger booster and the spacely liquid fuel engine? It might be worthwhile. All right, we're gonna stop there. We have to stop there. 
<laughs> Basically, that level of science got us to this level, which you know, makes sense. Okay, and I can probably just get rid of a lot of what I'm trying to do here and replace it with something altogether different. All right, so we do have our science there. Let's put in our inline mystery goo. Oh, it's a little. All right, we'll put two of these guys on here then. It's right behind the cockpit. There you go. Just like that. Plus, that looks cool. All right, and then let's go to the some RCS fuel tanks, some bigger fuel tanks. Oh, nice. Oscar. A big Oscar. Interesting. Oh, I like these new parts. That's really cool. Alright, that would actually get us. But I wouldn't be able to put a decoupler on there, would I? Or would I? I've got four of these on there. Let's see if I can put a decoupler on there. An engine plate. Oh, I need that. That's too big. Too big. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. It, it does four decouples instead of just one. Okay. Well... Take that off. Let's take. Let's put Spacely engine on there. It's 0.59. That's a. That's not a very good burn there. Hmm. What am I trying to do exactly? I'm trying to get to 18,000. So let's not try to get to orbit just yet. Okay, let's just try to get to 18,000. That's our next mission. Don't don't be an overachiever. That's only point six five. There's one point six one. All right, that that'll get us to 18,000, almost guaranteed. So let's go ahead and put on some nice winglets. Oh, that's huge. Okay. I thought that would look nice, but it did not. It did not look nice. Okay. There's those. Got all that. Now we need some parachutes. Still got the antenna on there. Yep. Don't need solar panels, probably. You will need some parachute. I don't know if two will be enough. This might be a little too heavy for two. So let's put on... A couple of spares just in case. Down here. And we'll only pop them if we need to. That's gonna be my, my spare parachutes. And we could put some landing legs on. We do have them now. What's the difference between these two? LT and LTR. Why is the LTR not retractable? <laughs> That's not going to be able to extend long enough to... It might, like, absorb the impact. Just barely. Okay. What I want to know is why are they not all doing it together? That's perfect. Okay. So now we're going to make it look nice. All right. Can't have all this hanging down like that. So let's see what we can do in the structural place here. There we go. All right. Cool. I don't think I can do auto stretch yet. Nope. Okay. I think this will uh, this will do. This will get us into our eighteen thousand mark for sure. I think. <laughs> I'm a little nervous about just sending a Kerbal up straight away you know what we don't need both of these let's let's decrease the cost and the weight a little bit and just pop it right oh right in his view there you go 
block your view a little bit. Let's, can we inset it just a little? There we go. Weld that baby in there. Boom. You're seeing it. Okay, the wart is ready. I think it's going to be just fine. Who is going to be the brave Kerbal to get us up to 18,000 now? Who's going to do it? Is it going to be Jacob? Is it going to be Steve? The world may never know. Where are we going to put the ladders for this thing? 34 parts. Oh. So I'm, I'm four parts over the limit. So you know what that means. I have to get rid of these nice looking struts. Okay. Well. I could bring these down a little. There we go. That looks alright. I think we're ready. We are ready. It's 10,809 funds for this beautiful rocket named Wart. Let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Steve, how are you feeling about your trip in a first iteration of a rocket? We have not test flown this with any probodobodines. Are you still okay with flying this ship, Steve? Oh, he's ready. Steve's ready. Let's do this. Ready for launch in three, two, one, launch. And we have liftoff. Everything is go. Everything looks fine. We are accelerating nicely. The, the moon in the distance there looks nice. Looking lovely. Everything looks good. All systems are good. quite make it to 18,000 so close but yet so far so now you know what that means we either need to add a uh, I think we need to add on a couple of uh, solid rocket fuel boosters so I think we'll take these fins off we'll put on a couple of boosters depending on how the parachutes react we may or may not need to add more parachutes so we'll see what happens with that and Steve is coming back down the first manned flight of rocket and I hope we survive this <laughs> all right here we go uh, we actually go ahead and deploy the the parachutes and it will help slow us down a little bit if those don't slow us enough we've got an extra pair of, of shoots and I think we'll be fine let's go ahead and uh, put down our landing gear that'll help slow us down a little bit as well maybe a little uh, extra drag well done Steve well done uh oh uh oh Steve you doing okay down here you got your G forces He's fine. He's not worried about G-forces. Alright. Here we come up on our 1,000 meter mark. Our sheet should deploy fully. Let's see how slow we get going there. Oh yeah. That's plenty of shoots. Alright. So we can drop the spare shoots. We don't need those reserve shoots. <laughs> uh, we don't need reserve shoots. Where are we? Safety engineers? Heck no. Now we have touchdown. Excellent. 
Well done, Steve. Well done. Got 12 signs from that. That's not bad. We got, uh, oh, 10,800. Okay, so we, we spent a few hundred in fuel. Okay, gotcha. All right, so let's take these spare shoots off. That will give us enough leeway to put on some nice decouplers. So if we put these guys on here, and then we put on some boosters, aka shrimps, mites, or fleas. Looks like shrimps may or be our go-to's. The fleas are probably the best. Most powerful. We only have enough room for two fins. That's. I'm not going to move the legs. I'm just going to go with it because I, I mean, just don't look at that. Just don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay. This should theoretically get us to 18,000. Theoretically, this should do it. Steve, are you are you good with giving this off to Jacob? I think you should be. If you're not, there we go. So we're gonna send Jacob up this time. Jacob, the pilot. All right, Jacob and Steve taking turns. True patriots of Kerbal, Kerbin. Keep saying Kerbal. I mean Kerbin. Fin. Do I need fins on this thing? I've, uh, I probably do. It's it's iffy whether or not I can get them on there. Do I need fins or do I need cones? We'll try it with cones first. Nose cones. That will help with the aerodynamics. And uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, let's launch. Jacob, are you ready for your flight in the Wart Mark One? Are you ready, Jacob? Hell, oh, he's ready. He's giving us the salute. He's telling us he's ready, and we are ready too. All right, SAS on, throttle up. We're going full throttle on launch. In three, two, one, lift off. Oh my God, we're going up. We're going up, baby. That was a heck of a lift off. And there go the solid rocket fuel boosters. They are away. They did their job fantastically. So far, so good. Looks like a nice stable launch. Don't have any clouds in the sky. <laughs> I couldn't get the Eve mod to work. It worked in the previous season and it's not working now. I don't know what happened. I think I had to take it out for some reason and then I was unable to get it back in there. So. Oh yeah, we're get we're past eighteen thousand. Why is my contract not not doing? Oh, I have to land first. Yeah. Okay, we got our contract. At least that part of it. Now I just have to splash down on Kerb, and he may make it up into space. going to? Nah, he's not. Close, though. Oh, yeah, he will! He will make it the first Kerbal in space, Jacob! It's gonna be the first. He's not in space yet, but he will be. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. So excited for Jacob. And he has done it, ladies and gentlemen. Jacob Kerman is the first Kerbal in space. 
he has done it. Welcome to Space Jacob and thank you for your contributions to the Kerbal Space Program. You are a true patriot, my friend. True patriot. All right, we're keeping all this science. All this space science looking good. All right, hopefully Jacob can survive re-entry here. <laughs> here he goes. All right, Jacob. He's pretty excited. Jacob is excited. He's not even nervous. He's just excited. We're coming in fast. Coming in fast. Oh boy. A little too fast. Let's extend those legs. Slow us down a little bit. Come on. There you go. Slow down. Slow down. Slow it down. Slow it down. It's fine. You're fine, Jacob. You're gonna survive this. Don't worry. We have parachutes. We have parachutes. And parachutes are deployed. They should start slowing us in a moment. We are still in the grasslands. So no additional science from there. And we have successful deployment of the chutes. We are now at a manageable descent onto Kerbin's surface. Thank you, Jacob, for your successful mission. All right, we got 56.4 science for getting the first Kerbal in space. Well done, well done. Of course, now uh, Steve is quite jealous. He is quite jealous. Okay, what do we want to do next? I would love to upgrade both our vehicle assembly building and our launch pad, but that's 50,000. This is 225,000, so that might be a problem. We do have to do the rover mission still, and so I'm a little bit, uh, we need to orbit around Kerbin will be our next goal. I, I do want to get a rover going and we could probably use one of our other Kerbals that we have not yet to see deployed, Yessa and Sean. So let's get started on that. But that will have to wait until next time. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Kerbal Space Program Season 5. If you did, be sure and hit that like button. It lets me know that you want to see more KSP and it makes me smile. So if you want to see me smile, you won't see me smile because I'm not on camera. But if I were on camera and you wanted to see me smile, theoretically, you could press that like button and then see me smile. It's up to you. Going up beyond the air. Complications, no delta V. I gotta make it to the KSC. Jeb done burn up all his stash. I gotta help him not to crash. Complications, no delta V. I gotta make it to the KSC. Jeb already popped his shoes. Think I'm gonna puke. Gravity. Down. If 
the ground Make an angry sound Every time Orbits aren't around Plan a mission to the moon Hope we get there very soon Take a look at all these rocks Makes the surface look like pop Complications, no delta V. Hope we make it to the KSC. Jeb done burn up all his stash. I gotta help him not to crash. Complications, no delta V. We gotta make it to the KSC. Jeb already popped his shoots. Think I'm gonna puke. Gravity, no escaping. Gravity. for free just fall down hit the ground make an angry sound every time orbits aren't around 